fight things on, on television, uh, how do you really feel? Well, I feel that way, and, and I said exactly what uh, what I meant, was that uh, the debate's gone on all year about uh, the defense in the SEC, about the, the offenses in the Big 12, and we had a chance to settle that. And that's what's really disappointing to me, and uh, I said exactly what I said to the team in the locker room before the game last night. They had an opportunity to shine on the big stage as a defense. Uh, we felt like that they were better than what people gave the credit for. Uh, on that side of the ball, um, we wish we had more three and outs. I've said that in my press conferences all year, but I think they've proved uh, in the last few weeks that uh, uh, they're not the 107th ranked team in the country on defense. Okay? Statistics have been misleading somewhat based on the number of plays they've been on the field. So um, I, I'm just disappointed for our team. Uh, you know, I feel the same way that, that Coach Saban does about his players. These guys have worked hard, and I just uh, am disappointed that we didn't have an opportunity to settle that league versus this league uh, because I believe that uh, there's some people that play offense in this league that can score for them. Mike, when you were listening to their reasonings as to why Alabama got two and, and you guys got three, you're almost sitting there saying, hey, I'd like to, I just want to break in here and give us the reasons why I think you're wrong. Well, I, I don't understand the eye test. I don't know what that means, what, what an eye test means. You know, that would have done it for Secretary, I guess. They wouldn't let her uh, have a shot at it. So I, I don't understand what the eye test has to do with um, anybody making a decision on who should be in that game. That's my personal opinion. Uh, but, you know, their reasons are, are you know, based on uh, something that could drive television market. Um, and, and our team was, was disappointed uh, for five minutes until we said, listen, uh, you're in a BCS Bowl, you have to go play in the Fiesta Bowl. And uh, we wanted to put all that to rest tonight because uh, we are very excited about going uh, to Scottsdale and, and playing Stanford. There's no question about that. But uh, I'm not going to sit up here and say that there wasn't some disappointment with our players because there was. They wanted to play, they wanted a shot at it. What was the biggest argument on your side that you would have liked to have brought up aside from the fact that you played well the other night? Were there other factors? Well, we, we lost a double overtime on the road, okay? Uh, we've, uh, other than that, we've had some big road victories this season against quality opponents. Uh, I think as it ended up, we'd beaten, uh, what were five teams in the top 25 in the BCS. Um, you know, I think that speaks for itself. And our margin of victory against good ranked teams uh, was pretty significant. And I, I said this the other day, and we have to recruit against them, but I'm not sure anybody wants to play Baylor right now. And um, I think we were ahead of Baylor 49 to three at half. Um, you know, Kansas State ends up eighth in the country, and we had, we had a battle with them. Oklahoma ended up, I don't know what Oklahoma ended up, and we played them over 10. And, uh, you know, at one point we were ahead by five or six touchdowns. So I think our margin of victory, uh, our, our, victory uh, our victories against um, ranked uh, BCS opponents, and we lost in double overtime on the road. How frustrating is it, you know, as a coach and as players to have all this decided and you have no part in it? Frustration really doesn't factor in. And, and I, I really mean this, that uh, I think we have to be thankful for being 11 and 1 and being in the BCS Bowl and being outright conference champions, no question. Uh, I, I've said this many times and I'll say it again that it's extremely difficult to win that many football games in a major conference like this. So I'm not frustrated. You just want everything for the players. They, they want to play in that game and uh, they believe they could have won that game. And I, that's, that's not taking anything, that's not taking anything from, from LSU. LSU certainly has stood tall, they're 13 and 0. They deserve it to be exactly where they are. But uh, our players want to play in that game. So I mentioned to them in the locker room about an hour ago that when they go home tonight and they come back and start their day over here tomorrow with uh, um, whatever they're going to whatever they're going to be involved in, that uh, our only concerns are Stanford and uh, having a good time in the Fiesta Bowl. How do you feel about your chances coming into this game? Uh, I thought we had a good chance. Uh, if we would have won the game 28-17, uh, I don't think there would have been any talk at all, but um, we believed that uh, to be ahead by six touchdowns in the third quarter against a team that was ranked 10th in the country, that uh, we opened some people's eyes across the country. Our players knew going in that, uh, one, we needed to find a way to win the game, but if we had a chance to um, play very well 
and have a lot of success that we need to take advantage of that opportunity if they wanted to make it to that game. How much Mike, when you hear your... Excuse me? How much did you address how, how, what you felt could happen tonight with the team at home? Tonight? Uh, yeah, before it's on. Yeah. Uh, I hadn't talked to him about this at all. I mean, uh, I, I visited with him an hour before we had this show, and by that time, uh, good news travels fast. Everything was already out. Uh, I was first time I'd ever been in the situation, so I thought I'd have him in the team room and talk to him about where we fell prior to this show, but they already knew when they came over here. Mike, when you listen to the computer guys say, if you hadn't allowed a touchdown to OU in the fourth quarter, it could have meant percentage points or any other minute factor. Does that frustrate you and, and want to play off even more so? My only disappointment with those comments is that if we say we buy into the system, which I buy into the system, and everybody says we're going to follow this format, and then we come back and say, I don't care what the computer says, because that's not real That's not real life. We saw what happened. Then I mean, why do we have the computer? It's kind of like the eye test. Mike, do you think that since OSU hasn't been a perennial power that hurt you all, I think if your name was USC or Texas, you've been in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, tradition plays a big factor in it. Um, you know, Coach Saban, you can say what you want, but he was on, on for two hours yesterday. I mean, uh, I mean, if anybody thinks that that, that didn't help Alabama, uh, you know, you need to go take a marketing class. Uh, so, and he did the right thing. It's nothing against him, but he was sitting on uh, college game day for two hours yesterday marketing Alabama football. So uh, there's no question that that helped. Uh, but... Uh, you know, if we do, if we'd have taken care of business at Iowa State, we wouldn't we wouldn't be having this discussion. So, uh, I just uh, I think it really comes down to what I said last night, and I really meant it was they had their shot. We 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 want our shot, and it didn't it didn't work out that way, and that I'm, that kind of disappoints me a little bit uh, that enough people that have some say so in it across the country wouldn't say. We already saw them play once at home. Coach, you talked about the marketing and, and CBS letting him do that. ESPN talking, kind of hyping up the rematch. Do you see any kind of agenda for, for some of these? I don't know enough about that. I'm not smart enough to figure all that out. I just know that uh, if you're going to get an opportunity to be on live television for two hours in front of a major audience, then you have a chance to sell your program. You've got a chance to, to, to market your team and give them a better opportunity to get more votes. In hindsight, do you wish maybe you hadn't made the comment about voting Alabama number two last Monday? No, and, and I didn't get to vote, but uh, <laughs> but no question, um, in my opinion, in our staff's opinion, that we handled that the right way because our team wasn't ready to hear let's play LSU. Our team needed to hear let's beat Oklahoma, and uh, and, you know, and I said this last week, and I don't mind saying it again. If we're standing here six or seven years from now and we got three or four Big 12 championships, then we may we, we have the right to stand up and, and maybe look a little bit ahead. But right now, we didn't have any business looking ahead, and I think the way it worked out with the approach of our team and the way they stayed focused and the way they prepared, um, the results we had last night for them to, to, to win outright conference championship, I wouldn't change anything. Coach, head to head, could you beat Alabama? 